Have your guests? Exactly. Please welcome Mr. Jim Sheridan. <laughs> Right way around, I hope. Uh, yeah, one of the reasons I think that this generation of actors is the best we've ever had in Ireland is our cast and directors who've been amazing and unsung, like Nuala Mazel and Maureen Hughes. So every week I'm looking at the telly watching these extraordinary, amazing performances from these kids uh, in gangster stories and gangster stories and <laughs> cartoons and whatever. But it is truly really hopeful for the future. So the nominees are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. John C. Riley. Thank you, Simon, for that glorious introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm very honored to be here in such esteemed company for my first appearance at the IFTAS here in Dublin. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. When I was invited to come and receive the Rising Star Award, <laughs> my first question was, what took you so long? I'm perfect. I was then told I had misheard the offer, and I was to present the Rising Star Award. My next question was, does that make me a falling star? <laughs> Never mind, I thought, I'm still perfect. For who better than myself to stand as an example of a star's ascent? <laughs> I'm like baking bread, I'm still rising. Yes, I stand before you and rise higher still, like a yeast-filled doughy loaf in the warm glow of Dublin's oven. A golden, crusty, hard shell <laughs> pulsing from within with the hot steam of new possibilities. In other words, I'm available. <laughs> so, but enough about me. To tonight's Rising Star nominees, I wish you all a brilliant future. You've already achieved a great deal, and no matter who is awarded tonight, you're all sure to burn bright into the future. The th in order to thrive, the Irish film industry needs to constantly replenish itself with vibrant, raw talent. Hence my appearance here tonight. <laughs> the Irish Film Award, Rising Star Award, is where we see that first glimpse of talent rewarded. And the nominees are... Jared Barrett, Pilgrim Hill. Lisa Barris de Sa and Glenn Leyburn, Good Vibrations. Kieran Foy, Citadel. Jack Rayner, What Richard Did. And the IFTA goes to Gerard Barrett, Pilgrim Hill. Very heavy, careful. Very heavy. Thank you so much. That's your first burden of your future. It's very heavy. It's, 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 yeah. I wonder, can I sell it? Can I sell it? Um, this is a huge honour. I just look. I, I know I have 30 seconds. Uh, my mother and father down. My mother and father down in Kerry, who will be watching this, will be going mental. And um, <laughs> it's and it's lovely. Um, Grania um, for sticking by me and putting up with me and and giving out to me when I need to give an out to. Um, Joe Mullins, who just gives an amazing performance in Pilgrim Hill, Joe, and you know, you're, you're an amazing actor, but you're also a great friend, and um, I suppose I just want to thank the Irish Film Board for getting behind me and helping me with the film. I want to thank the Galway Film Flair for coming to Dublin to see the film. I want to thank my credit union manager. 
down in the stall for giving me four and a half grand to make the film. Um, and I just want to thank, uh, you know, Mary Welch, who gave me her farm for a week down in, um, down in Kerry. And it's just everybody in Brownback Films. Just, it's a huge honor to be in a room of people that I hugely admire. And, you know, I just thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>
Camilla, just one out to Camilla. So you had a terrific year yes. here last year. Thank you, yes. Um, and it, 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 what are your memories of, of that? Well, it was absolutely wonderful to be graced with the Lifetime Achievement Award by the IFTAS. That was a great honour. I'm still stunned by it. And the great thing about tonight is I don't have to be nervous because I don't have to make a speech and I'm not uh, in competition for anything. So I just am presenting an award, which also is a great honour because it's really lovely to be included in the family of IFTA. Well, I'm filming in Dublin. I'm doing a film called Gold, uh, directed by Niall Heary, who did Small Engine Repair with David Wilmot and Kerry Condon. And just so happens I'm here for the IFTAs, and so they asked me along. I haven't been here for a long time. I used to host the IFTAs. I'm a previous winner. So um, I'm delighted to get back and see how it's all transformed and changed and developed. It's wonderful. Um, I'm, it, the, the turnaround has been insane. I'm just delighted. It's been an amazing year for me, um, and I'm really excited about 2013. I'm not surprised. You've got a big project coming up. Yeah, I do indeed. Transformers is going on. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, how important do you think? Have you been to the IFTAs before? No, this is my first time. Okay, so how important do you think this is? Oh, to be honest, I think it's hugely important that we recognise um, our own kind of talent in this country. I don't think that worldwide we're recognised quite as much as we should be. I don't think we focus enough on exporting our arts as much as we should, but it's great to come together for a night like this. Um, and to see Irish film really recognised at home. You're a very busy one. What, what's, um, so what's coming up? You're, you're, you're working at the moment. Yeah, I'm working on a film called Frank at the moment with Michael Fassbender and Maggie Gyllenhaal and Scoot McNary, some great actors, like amazing actors, and then um, uh, that uh, Lenny Abrahamson is directing. So, And it's not an Irish movie, really. I mean, in terms of tone, there's no one Irish in it apart from Pat Short, who's playing Irish. So, and it's cool that it, we're doing it here, you know. It's an English story told in Ireland. And it's nice, you know, just great director, great actors. I'm enjoying that. And then I got some movies coming out later this year that I hope are good and uh, hope I work again. <laughs> you know? So, kind of, it's back to the scene of the crime anyway. Who knows what this year will launch? Yeah, no, is. exactly. You never know. You never right. know. Thanks very much. Cool, thank you very much. much. And what is important about nights like this? You know what, this is, uh, this is a very small country with the amount of incredible artists and writers and actors that come from here, it's astounding. And to get all of them into one room to just go, yeah, well done us, is no harm. How are you, Jim? Nice to see you. Uh, so yeah, it's terrific. Terrific. That's, that's great. Lovely. Like, so are you following, do you follow a lot of Irish drama? Not a lot. I follow Love, Hate. Uh, I think it's just exceptionally good. And the casting by Maureen Hughes is the best there ever was on Irish television. What, what do you think it was about Love, Hate? I mean, they're nominated for everything this year. Why, why do you think... It's just a... real and it's kind of powerful and it's not afraid of anything. So it's a great show. And one last one. How do you think the IFTAs have changed in the years since you've seen them? Got better and bigger and... I hope they keep going that way. What are you doing? Well, uh, actually, as of tomorrow, I'm flying to London and we start uh, rehearsals for uh, Dracula, an NBC and Sky co production with Johnny Rees Mayers, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so that should be fun. And a writing project I did is um, being bought by ABC and uh, being looked at by a couple of cable companies, see if they're going to make it. And, yeah, keep them busy, keep them out of trouble. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm back and forth to Germany at the moment. I'm doing a film with Wes Anderson called The Grand Budapest Hotel. And I'm kind of doing that and then doing press for a film called The Host, which is coming out soon. And just kind of bits and bobs and all over the place. But it's been good though, it's been busy and yeah, it's been nice. And how important is it to take time out from all of that to come back here for tonight? It's very important. Um, I think it's just good for your head to get home, you know, and uh, and to be with your family and be with your friends and and to be here as well. I mean, there's Nidge from Love Hate. Um, sorry, I think the fact that everyone knows each other is is lovely, and we're all able to just kind of relax when we're here. You know, it's not like other award shows. So, no, I'm here because I've been nominated for best actor in a TV program, which this particular TV program is called Love Hate. And it's done quite well, hasn't it? It has done quite well. Yeah, it certainly well, has. The Irish people have uh, have been gripped why, these past why, few weeks. Why? why? Why do you think? I don't know. Maybe it's because they're all raging lunatics. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe it's because they're uh, you know they're into a bit of gunplay. 